Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I have um, the newest collection from Super Chick Lacquer. It's called Spill the Tea Collection. Now, this collection is sold out. It will restock on July 31st. Um, I can leave information down below for you to check it out. I snatched this up as soon as I saw it, as soon as I knew that she was coming out with it, because this is a brand that I will stock because when she stocks her stuff, people snatch it up and then it's almost impossible to get your hands on. Um, her first, one of her first collections, um, <laughs> I stalked and stalked and stalked. It took me several restocks to get my hands on what I wanted. So um, I have learned to pay attention. I'm on the mailing list and all that. I get notifications. So let's get on with it. So here is how the polish comes. It comes in this little plastic box with showing that it's four and five free. It tells you um, the ingredients that are in it, but they come in these little boxes. I've already removed the rest of the collection, so we're going to pull this one out and sit it with its buddies. So this first one we have is an insane blue, and it's called Throwing Shade. The next one is this crazy like chartreuse green, <laughs> and this is Queen of Tea. Another reason why I had to have this collection. When I started working where I work, I don't know, 14 years ago, there was already a Tina working there. So they call me Tea. My name is, and it's spelled like this, T-E-A, Tea. So I had to have the Tea collection, don't you know? Queen of Tea. And then this beautiful pinky color is called Exposed. This orange, singing to me, is called Juicy. <laughs> and then we have this other blue, it's a light blue, it's more of like a silver blue. It's called Spill It. <laughs> Love it. So, and then this last one is this crazy green. I, I don't even know how to describe this. It's hollow on steroids for sure, though. This one's called Dirty Laundry. So, I do have a nail wheel out. I'm going to swatch these. I'm also going to stamp test them for you. I want you to see what I've seen with her other previous collections, and this is why I stock this brand. So let me get everything ready. I'll be right back. And here we go with the first coat of Throwing Shade. Golly, this is a beautiful blue hollow. And you know, these could very well be one coaters on you. It depends on how you apply. Next, we have Queen of Tea. Such a beautiful green. Oh, I just love these polishes. Next, we have the pink one, Exposed. Gorgeous. I mean, you see that hollow. It's just crazy. Ah. And then we've got Juicy. I love this orange one. This will be great for fall. Oh my. It will be just... Mm. Next we have Spill It, which is the light blue one. It's kind of an icy blue. I really like it too. And then finally for the first round of swatches. We have Dirty Laundry. It's that kind of green blue. It's more green than blue to me in person. And uh oh, I think we have a fuzzy. Yep, we gotta get that out of there. No fuzzies in this, no. So we're gonna go in and finish up with that first coat of that one. Got a little mess up from that having a fuzzy in it. And now we're going to go in with a second coat of each one of them. Like I said, depending on how you apply your polish, these may be one coaters for you. I'm a two coat girl, no matter what it is, I'm a two coat girl. And there we go. The first one was Throwing Shade and then Queen of Tea. And now we're back to the second coat of Exposed. And then now we're doing the second on Juicy. And a second coat for Spill It. <laughs> and then finally, the second coat for Dirty Laundry. These are all just insane pretty. 
All right, now I have top coated these with the Super Chic Macro um, Marvel top coat, and they're all just singing gorgeous. Just beautimous, beautimous. And now we're going to do some stamp testing with them. I'll be using this Ajubas EJB07 plate and the Ajubas stamper and my clear jelly scraper. Um, I have used many a super chick like her for stamping before, so I have high hopes for these. And there we go. Yep. Still loving it. And that one was Throwing Shade, and now we're doing Queen of Tea, the green one. And it's just, uh, uh, and these aren't stamping polishes. No, they're not. But they do stamp really, really well. And that hollow just screams off of them. I love these. And then now we've got the pink one. You know, I love the pink one. Exposed. And this one, I didn't get it very much on the black, so I'm going to pull some more. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do another little bit so that I can get some more over on the black so you can see how well it does over the black. I don't want, don't want to be short and nothing. Look how pretty. <laughs> and then now we're going to use the juicy orange one. I'm just so excited about these. Like I said, they'll be re-releasing again on August 31st, so you might want to go check them out if you're interested. And there we go. I did that one on the black again also because it, I cheated it. Gorgeous. Okay, now that we've gotten juicy, we're going to spill it, which is that icy light blue one. Yay, I did better on that one. You can see that hollow just bling. And then finally, the last one for the stamp test is Dirty Laundry. So I'm going to just pick that one up and roll it on. Look how pretty. Oh, my hollow heaven. Love it. Thumbs up. So here's how they swatched. And, you know, anywhere where it was messed up, that was a, you know, personal mess it up me error. But look. Oh, they did so good. Now we're going to water marble test these. I put the first drop in. I'm running that toothpick around the cup like I normally do when I water marble. And we're just doing drops of each one of these beautiful hollow polishes. Going to build up a little bullseye. I am tapping the cup to encourage them to spread out a little bit more. Little tap tap, or you can kind of spin the cup a little bit, that works also. But these are really doing nicely. And then we're going to do another drop of that blue, the first color that went in, because I know I'm not going to get that from the edge. And I'm just going to draw in a simple flower petal design. And these are doing really, really well. Now it is starting to dry on that outside ring or two so you know it's it's you, you got to work kind of quick but normally you do with water marbles so I'm gonna go in with a little bit more and then we get a little over carried away here we go We're gonna get this one in now I've got some sticky base coat down on that nail just so it wouldn't be totally clear there we go I'm gonna do some little cleanup and then we're gonna see how well this turned out Oh yes, and there you have it. It did great. Look how pretty. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to 